So let me ask you, how do you prepare somebody else? Like when they come up to you, if they ask you like, hey man, how how do I prepare myself for, for the spinal fusion that's coming up? Like, what would you say to them? Well, I, I'm always careful to, I'm not promoting a spinal fusion. And, and the reason I'm not promoting it is I want you to explore all options first. If that leads you down the path to where you need a fusion, then I'll start preparing you for the fusion. And how I would prepare you for that is, I mean, I feel like I'm so lucky. I feel like you have to have so many things go your way. And, and the first thing is the doctor has to do a good job. If the doctor doesn't do a good job, then nothing I tell you is, is going to be worth anything. Right. So you, you have to have some luck with this. And that's another reason I'm not promoting somebody chopping up your spine. Um, but if you have to get it done, you, you have to have a mindset going into it. And you talked a little bit about this. Before I had the surgery, I remember there was a night where I couldn't, I mean, I was just laying on the ground. I couldn't get up um, on, a, on a mattress on the ground. I'd sleep on the floor because that's the only thing that was comfortable for me at the time. And I remember crying almost all night thinking, I'm not going to be able to throw a football with my kids. I'm going to be in a wheelchair. And then, you know, that actually snapped me out of it to like, I'm getting this surgery. There's no way out of this, but I'm coming out the other end better than I went in. And mm -hmm. that's just what it was. You have to have the mindset. If you don't have the mindset, you're done right there. Right. So, Indomitable will. And, and then you have to have the wisdom. I mean, so I got the surgery and I'm getting a call two days after surgery saying you need to come in for physical therapy. And I said, what are you talking about? I can't drive. <laughs> I, it's, it's two days after you want me to go to physical therapy. I said, no, I'm not doing it. So, you know, right there was, that was kind of a hint to me, like there's something wrong. Either the people aren't on the same page. They don't know what they're doing. Or like we talked about, it's some sort of a scam. So I'm going to do all the research I can myself and I'm going to take this thing slow. I'm going to heal. Then I'm going to work a little bit. Then I'm going to heal. Then I'm going to work a little bit and just kind of feel my body out and see where I'm at at the time. And yeah. I decided to vlog all that stuff on this channel to try and give people some sort of, not a path or it's not like a, it's kind of a guide, I would say, just, just a loose guide. This is what I did. This is how I got past it, but you need to feel it out for yourself, how your body's right. doing. Um, but I'm, I'm definitely an advocate to stay off the pain meds I stopped him immediately after I got home. I stopped immediately. It's the only way to do it. Um, and, yes, and the pain was horrible, but I had to cut off the pain meds and just fight through that pain. And it's, it's like you said, it's a fight every single day. So mm -hmm. I don't wake up in pain right now, but I do wake up where my back is stiff. You know, I'll go down the stairs, my back's stiff. And then it takes a second to, you know, get back to feeling normal and, I do have to stretch every night. I do uh, do dead hangs on the uh, squat rack back here. I'll hang there 30 seconds, 45 seconds, whatever it is to just kind of um, elongate the spine and allow the discs to rest a little bit. I do do the, um, the cold plunges. I have a, 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 a steam sauna and all that stuff helps. And I use it almost every day because mm -hmm. it keeps me normal. So to answer your question, um, I would just, you have to prepare somebody for it. It's a long fight ahead. You can do it, but it's a right. long fight ahead. <laughs> That's an amazing story, man. I can relate to so much of that. <laughs> it's, it, you know, it's directly relatable. A lot of the rehab that I did was in water. I would go into a shallow end of a pool, mm -hmm. uh, four feet. And that's where I did all my movement. So I learned how to walk again, jog again gallop, slide, skip, hop, all the loco motion that we did in elementary school. I took it back because I decided to make this recovery into you are learning all over again, everything. And then what ended up happening is it was a very incremental, slow process. But like you, once I cut out the pain medication, went through the detox, got into the water, which was also pretty relaxing too. My body started to heal. When you're in water, the body can 
get away from gravity. So it begins to kind of relax, heal itself while you do the work. And then what I realized is once I felt confident in my body, instead of jumping on land, just jump in the water. So then I started sprinting in the water. And then I realized that the athleticism carryover was almost infinite. And that it's really something that no one's doing, but something that should be focused on immediately because athletic performance, especially explosiveness, is a huge field and a sought after skill. Do it in the water. <laughs> it's that simple. So mm -hmm. think me going through this process helped me to learn how do I identify more with structural damage and integrity problems? Mm -hmm. Like for me, it wasn't a choice to get a surgery. It was who can do it and when, because the structure was, it was over. Mm -hmm. um, for structural damage, you have to get that taken care of. And like you said, there's, there's great opportunity to look around the world, actually. They, actually. they do some really interesting things in Russia where they don't fuse the spine, what happens? Do you know what they do over there? No, I don't. It's actually pretty cool. Just imagine, um, you know, like building blocks. You have each vertebrae is a block, but instead of it being fused with Harrington rods going parallel and then plate space or screws binding it all, what they are, believe it or not, is blocks that can turn every way that our spine already turns. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's amazing. It just reinforces what's already there. So I think... It, it matters on how much you have existing in terms of the structural integrity before they can put that together. But I almost went over to Russia and had this done. Mm 